first thing you need to know is that your left hand is your past. Your right hand is your present and future. It does not matter what your dominant hand is. Most of the work we do is on the right hand. Sometimes we'll reference that left hand. Before we get started, let me give you a little insight about palmistry and how the lines and markings are named. It's about two or 3,000 years old. Some say it's even a little bit older than that. And they've gone through and they've named all the fingers in certain sections of the hand with names of Greek gods and goddesses or with astrological names. So that index finger is the Jupiter finger. The middle finger or business finger is the Saturn finger. The ring finger is the sun finger. Some like to call it the Apollo finger or the finger of Apollo. The little or the pinky finger is the Mercury finger. That section there between the head and the heart line is called the Mars area. Another important area is the base of the thumb, that little fat pad. It's the Mount of Venus, the goddess of love. This will reflect your sexual libido. It also shows how well you're hydrated. You want to see a little fat pad there so tight you can hardly pinch or pick up the skin. And you look to be slightly dehydrated. You can go online and see how much water you need for your height and weight. Okay, look down there on your chart where it says palm shape. The shape of your palm is your most important talent. And it looks like you have a square palm, which means you're athletic, you're active, you're practical. Sitting at a desk really is not your thing. Okay, look in the upper right hand corner of your chart and this is your fingertip shapes. They reveal your personality type. It looks like you have a combination of fingertips. You have spatulate fingertips, meaning you're intense, dramatic, energetic. Most actors and actresses have these fingertip shapes. And you have round fingertips, meaning you're intuitive, quick, compassionate, you should actually be in the health field. Okay, now the length of your fingers in relationship to the length of your palm and other fingers are your talents, what you're good at. Long fingers mean one thing, short fingers mean another. No one gets shorted, everyone has their own unique talents. Nothing is good or bad, they all have their good qualities. Let's start with the thumb. You have a long thumb, it means you'll do well in life. You have good manual dexterity like carpenters, artists, and surgeons. All right, moving on to the Jupiter finger, that is your index finger. You have a short index finger, meaning you're self-motivated. You work well on your own. You don't need someone guiding your every move or looking over your shoulder. Okay, your business or your Saturn finger. Now this is the finger that is the basis of all measurement for all the other fingers. It should be almost as long as your palm. Now the ring finger or the sun finger, some call it the finger of Apollo, is your creative finger. It represents your right brain. And you have a long sun finger, which means you're very creative, imaginative, inventive. Finally, your pinky finger, or your mercury finger. This is your scholarly finger, and represents your left brain. And you have an average mercury finger, which means that you can be scholarly, you know how to work with words well, but you prefer to be hands-on and get the job done. Okay, let's start with the lines and markings on the palm of your right hand. Look on your chart and find the heart line. It's the top horizontal line just under the fingers. Now follow the heart line to the end, just underneath that mercury finger or that pinky finger. Those are your flirt lines, the little tassels on the end of the heart line. That's a good indicator of how well you interact with others. And you have some really good tassels on the end of that heart line. It means that you do interact well with people. In fact, you're really kind of a social person. It means you put yourself out there to meet new people and to interact with them. 